all right campers how y'all doing hey welcome back uh, third week of March been a month since we uh, last gave you an update on what's going around going on um, on the on the off game note it's been almost two weeks since I dropped a video I have to apologize for that uh, I went to a conference for work for a week and got home last Friday and was sick all weekend and I went to the ER and uh, was determined that my gallbladder needed to come out immediately so all this week I have been recovering from gallbladder surgery so I am finally uh, well enough to come down and actually get on my computer I was I think I was going through through uh, withdrawal um, so back to the game we just finished uh, servicing this Volvo it's got, it says it's got the internal the internal sensors in here say I got damage it says that I am 49% but the mechanic I had come out here to service said yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with the damn thing. A little beat up, but... So, not real sure why that is. He, I didn't want to pay an extra 1200 bucks to find out why the sensor wasn't flying right. So we're just going to keep an eye on it. It's uh, This is our milk truck. Milk and slurry truck, anyway. So it didn't go very far. So speaking of uh, things that are going on, We'll just park here for now. If you look at what's... It looks a lot different, don't it? The big farm, the old farm, cow barn is gone. Um, I sold off the entire herd. And I tore down that big old god-awful cow barn. Everything else is the same. And I built that new one. Then I moved the chicken coops. We uh, we borrowed a big crane, lifted one end up as kind of like a house moving event. Um, moved the chicken coops over. They're pretty sturdy. It was it was very surprising. So uh, before we go through the cow barn, I'll point out some things. So I built another little shop over here. Ah, uh, just something small. Need a little smaller shop, maybe if I wanted to work on something for a long period of time. I didn't want to tie up other space. But I uh, got my chicken barns back to back now. Now my chicken pen that I put the males in till they get big is still back over there. My silos all are the same. I built a new, we dug up, and we had a little problem with this because the ground was still partially frozen first week of March but uh, we dug uh, the fertilizer and herbicide tanks up and really coated them over here with this shed and it only took them a week to put this thing up it was very surprising but it, we moved the uh, uh, we call it wash plant wash pad we poured uh, new concrete and I've actually kind of got it back in the same old shape we did add a new TMR uh, mixed forage production. So um, we had a lot of hay. We had some. I had to buy the mineral feed. That cost a couple hundred thousand dollars to buy. But we had the sides and we had the straw. So uh, got that. And then we changed. We got rid of the other seeder and seed maker. Uh, whatever, whatever that thing was, put what type of grain you wanted in it, and it would come out with the seeds. And we changed to this one. So uh, I don't have anything in there right now. So we aren't producing any seeds because I got them all stored up. I got seeds all over the place. Our seeds. I got some seeds in here. 
Yeah, I got 16,000 seeds in here, and I got another 48,000 liters in there. I'm pretty sure I got some. Nope, no seed in this one. Oh, uh, so we're still going. So nothing else changed over here. Uh, we did do some landscaping. Added some space back here to be able to drive around behind the shed. And I did add some dirt back through here so that we can park our equipment. So I, I, I've got all of my equipment more neatly parked on my trailers. Um, I'm going to have to come level this out because it is it is the guys I had dump and level didn't do a good job. I still got a few things up there. My hay equipment uh, is still up there. But my headers are all lined up over there. My trailers are all over here. So uh, that's, that's kind of where we're at on that. Uh, run you through the cow barn. Um, bale storage. I don't have any in there. I haven't bailed anything. But uh, it's a drive and dump. Drive in here, dump. Dump the uh, straw and go. Once I get the straw dumped, I go into the control thing and hit straw dispersion and it, it sucks the straw and disperses it and all the, all the little straw base, uh, beds. Sorry. My voice is going and I'm tired. There we go. So yeah, it disperses the straw gets dispersed in here automatically. So. Yeah, my cows are pretty young. They're getting there. I got 420 in here. And I like this because it's got a nice little pasture. Kind of like the old one, but it's just on one side. So that gave me a tremendous amount of room to work with over here. So if I want to add some more production. Okay, I add production over here. You know, I might even want to tear that building down and put something down here. I don't know. That way I got all my equipment down here instead up there and back and forth. I don't know. I kind of like having that shop next to my house. Uh, let's see. So, we're, we just finished all of our March har uh, planting. So, let me show you what we got going on on that, on that end of the note. Farmland. I'll change this. So, cotton. Everybody in their dog has planted cotton. So, what I got going on here is I've got two wheat pads. I'm just going to turn everything off. Turn it on so you can see. There you go. Well, we'll leave the grass and carrots on. I still got a little carrot patch back there, I, even though I got rid of most of that plot. But I still got my grass. Um, I got this little grass space over here with the apple trees. I'm looking at maybe buying, buying this plot. And adding the grass, but they went, you know, half a million for it. The price is going down, so if the price goes down some more, I might go ahead and pick that up and pick up 186. Because 186, oh, he's, you know what, he's only 197 right now. I'm gonna go ahead and buy him. Yeah, I wonder what 15 is like. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and snap him up too. Price dropped on him. What's 66? Yeah. It's just, a lot for a big hillside. 70, they still want a million for it. No thanks. 98, half. Yeah. So, now this one I might be looking, I might have to take another look at him. Uh, I could put another field up there. It's kind of flat ground on that top end. We'll have to see. All right. Well, anyway, uh, let's go back to map over you here. So, um, the lake. 
So let's throw the cotton up. Oh, they're all the cotton fields. Everybody planted cotton within 100 square miles. So anyway, but it is a huge demand for it. So I, I, I hope my investment in these fields pays off. But uh, I did, I did combine 53 and 52 into one field. Uh, so that's one field of cotton, 51. I've got 54 back to cotton. Uh, this field here is cotton. Um, this is cotton. This is cotton. And then I went ahead and did 46, 47, 48 cotton. Or wait. Yeah, 46. Yeah, 46, 47, 48 cotton. So, yeah. So I'm not real sure what I'm going to do with this right now. I know this is going to be corn. This is going to be corn. Um, this is going to be soybeans. Soybeans. Although I, uh, uh, these are going to be sugar beet. I probably plant that sugar beet as well. And I'll probably plant 18, 17, 18 just sugar beet as well because it's just because it's hillside. Um, corn, it was tough cutting the corn on this hillside like that, especially the big hitters. So the small hitters do real well in these two fields. So I'll plant these two. Uh, sugar beet probably these fields right here will get sugar beet uh, I don't know maybe soybeans for these two and these four smaller fields go to sugar beet I don't know. what do I currently got sugar beet yeah see currently that's the sugar beet field haven't planted yet or maybe I did uh -oh. Let's see Sunflowers. Sunflowers were planted. Yep. All right. So I got sunflowers here. Wheat. I put these two to wheat. Chicken feed. I don't have any barley. I don't have any canola. I don't have any oats. Corn has not been planted yet. And sugar cane has not been planted yet. I don't have any sorghum. Yeah. So... All right, so this is what I love to sugar beets. So I would probably plant all this to soybeans right here. And this too, this will be all corn here, soybeans here. And I'm going to probably just plant these to soybeans as well. I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's, I got a little bit of time to think about it. So that's where we're at, campers. Um, you know, Earlier morning, March third, March third week of March. Um, kind of looking to see what we got to plant next here. What's coming up? Calendar, April. We're not gonna. Okay, so we'll be planting. We'll be planting our corn, and our soybeans, and our sugar beets. Yep. And carrots we'll probably wait till may on the carrots i thought i might plant that one field way out way out on the other side this field up here i might plant that to uh carrots these two fields here oh so in case i didn't tell you i, I think i did tell you we you know we we had the mad cow disease and we had to destroy the barn and all the cows so this is still blank so i might just come in and i think what i'm going to do is just turn this into one big field up here um so i might do that here this week while we're waiting for corn time to plant we can't plant for another two weeks so um so yeah i might just go up here today and since i don't got anything going on we i just started maintenance on that one tractor Where that? back over here I'm on black magnum 400 in my truck so yeah I just started maintenance on it so maintenance and repair it was pretty uh 
pretty beat up. I didn't. I used the crap out of it this winter with a snow blower, so it it got tore up pretty bad. So I've got that 400 Magnum down at the other field, farther farm yet. What I call the East Farm, Cotton Farm. So, oh yeah, I did buy. I got tired of leasing a second combine, so I did buy a 9250 that was down there at the uh, uh, dealership. I needed a second combine, so I have not bought a header for it yet, though. So I'll have to do that closer to harvest season. But uh, that's where we're at, campers. All right. Well, thanks for everything, and it's great to be back, and good to see you all again. Talk to you later. Hit that like and subscribe.